Well, good afternoon, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Duke Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 8th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. And we just most recently had a 5.7 earthquake in Japan, right after those deep earthquakes in the Fiji and Tonga region. This was an eight kilometer depth of 5.7 in Oda, Japan. And that was following another uh, 5.3 in Indonesia and Biha, Indonesia, 5.3, another shallow earthquake. That's right, folks, stay aware and prepared. It has been pretty busy along this fault line and I'm expecting some more action right here in California. The Oregon Plate, BC, Aleutian Islands. Watch for a pretty big earthquake over the next few days. We also had in uh, Conception, Guatemala, a 5.2 and also a 5.0 Mid Atlantic Bridge that was late last night and also early this morning with the Chile earthquake. Looking around the world right now, most recent was the 3.0 in California. And we're just gonna go the last 24 hours. You can see it has been pretty busy. Along the Ring of Fire, but more recently there has been a lot more earthquakes, smaller earthquakes and bigger earthquakes in the Aleutian Islands, Philippines, Indonesia, and Fiji and Tonga region, which has been active for a very long time now. Looking around the world, South America has been rumbling, rumbling a lot too. In Mexico, Guatemala, 4.1, 4.4s, and then the 5.2. You can see the Caribbean as well, very active. Thanks all my subscribers and all the viewers today. Thanks for watching, giving you an earthquake update and also weather update as per my daily updates with Morning Dew daily events worldwide, posting my weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world, studying geological events like those deep earthquakes in the Fiji region. So we were expecting large shallow earthquakes after that and sure enough, we did get them with the 5.7 in Japan and also the 5.2 Indonesia. So we're gonna be watching. This is the last seven days for earthquakes. San Andreas Fault, also Yosemite and Oklahoma. A lot of those earthquakes are fracking. Aleutian Islands, just give you a little browse here. The last seven days for earthquakes around the world. And now just a quick look at your five day forecast provided by Meteor Earth. This is an app that everybody can get. I like to use it, it's pretty accurate. You can see here all those blues Cold temperatures sticking around for most of North America right now. Very large low spinning in Alaska right now as well, which will bring next week another snowfall to Alberta and BC interior. That's right, folks. All across North America, it's still snowing. Snowstorms are still brewing. Atlantic provinces getting hit by another nor'easter coming up. Overlooking Europe, pretty large low moving in. Spinning around and then heading back out to the Atlantic Ocean. So that should be a little 
show for Europeans. Snow in the higher elevations, a lot of wind and precipitation with this large low pressure system coming in off the Atlantic. Around the world we go. Big weather maker here is the tropical cyclone, I believe it's Timothy. Oh, no, not Timothy. I'm not sure if it's even been named yet, but still, it is a very large one. As I said, when you see the purples on top of the dark blue like that, that's a lot of precipitation, a lot of sheer winds hitting the top of spear. Around the world we go. I want to thank you for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Just going to leave you here with a five-day forecast look at the Southern Hemisphere and all of the monstrous lows that are spinning. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Bye-bye. Thank you.